Hello, I'm Robin Vincent and welcome to Making Music on the Surface Go. This is an additional video to the first episode where we were talking about making music using the original Windows 10 S mode that's installed with the Surface Go when you get it out of the box. And all I want to do in this video is make some music and demonstrate that you can indeed make music on the Surface Go and Windows 10 S. Originally I was going to make some music in Stagelight and also in FL Studio Mobile, but I think we kind of need to move on. So I think it will be enough just to do it in Stagelight as a demonstration of what's possible. And also because there's a desktop version of Stagelight, I'll be able to do a comparative test once we've moved over to Windows 10 proper. So the plan is to make a little bit of random music just to demonstrate how easily it can be done on this little device and then to sort of push it to the point at which it can no longer cope. The point at which it breaks, when it falls apart, where it just goes, no, nah, I ain't gonna do anymore. And then we can try out that same project once we're in regular Windows 10 with a desktop version of Stagelight and see if that provides any better performance. So that's the plan. I'm gonna fiddle about. I'll see you on the other side. So there you are, eight tracks of the most awesome music you could possibly imagine. Just checking out on the CPU load, it's sitting at around the high 20s, nearly 30% CPU at the moment with those eight tracks running. So the Surface Go is very comfortably dealing with a little home studio project with, with no bother whatsoever. What I'm going to do now is start loading it up. I'm going to add a chain of effects to each track. I'm not trying to be clever here, I just want to add effects that are going to load up the CPU. And then once I've done that, I'll start duplicating tracks to see at which point the whole thing starts to fall apart. All right.
So at this stage, I've added three effects to each channel. So that's what, 24 effects, including compression and reverb, reverb being usually the most CPU intensive one of the lot. CPU meter over here is currently on about 66% when it's not playing back. And when it's playing back, well, it says 100%, but we're not getting any problem. There's no slowdown. There's no slowdown in graphics as far as I can see. It appears to be holding itself together. So let me start to duplicate some tracks then copy that track. Go down to the bottom, add a track and paste it. Now that's an identical track loading up the same synth and the same effects. So it's adding more, more tracks, more virtual instruments and more effects to this project. Now I appreciate that the project's gonna start sounding terrible, <laughs> even more terrible than it already is, but that's not the point. We're not interested in how terrible it sounds, we're interested in how the performance goes. Okay there, I heard a glitch at that point. So that's 16 tracks. Each with three effects loaded. 48 effects, 48 plugins. And you can see there's a slight slowdown on the screen. So it's starting to find things troublesome. Let's keep going. Okay, it's starting to become sluggish now. There we go. So that looks like the crackle point, the point at which it starts just tearing itself apart. And we got up to 21 tracks, so that's uh, 63 plugins, all running together on the little Surface Go. I mean, that's not a bad track count. It's not a bad effects plugin count either. I mean, they may not be that complex in terms of effects. You're not running a massive black hole reverb or something like that, but it does give an indication of kind of what the system could do. So there you go. What did you think? How was that? 20 odd tracks of uh, playback and composition and music creation within Stage Light on the new Surface Go. Surface Go has not been tweaked. It's running just as it does out of the box. It's got notifications coming up from time to time. The Wi-Fi is on, everything's running. I haven't messed with the power settings or anything at all. This is just straight out of the box. And it's able to achieve 20 tracks of stable playback running through Open Lab Stage Light and using an Avid Fast Track Duo as the audio interface. Simple, easy, it works. And this is Windows 10 in S mode, which doesn't let us do any of the things we normally like to do. And yet, here it is, making music without any bother. So that's great news. And it really bodes well for my future testing. So next, it's off with this Windows 10 S business and on with Windows 10 proper and proper desktop software, proper doors, VST plugins, and all that malarkey. And I'll dig in and find out what it's really capable of.
So that'll be the next video coming along, oh, I don't know, as soon as I can get around to actually doing it. So I hope that's helpful to you along the line. Please, by all means, ask more questions in the comments or express your opinions as to how you feel about all this. Please subscribe and share. Check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support me in what I do. And in the meantime, go and make some tunes.